Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essential series for hackers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the locate utility to find files. Now, I'll be also making an, another video after this to show you how to use the find tool to actually find files as well. So there are two utilities that you can use. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the locate tool. It's a tool that goes ignored by many beginners or newcomers, uh, mostly because of its relative simplicity, but it's a very efficient tool and does what it's supposed to do. So again, uh, we can use the what is uh, utility here to tell us more about what this tool is. So again, we can just say what is locate. And as you can see, it tells us it finds files by their name, which is very simple. And again, you can use the manual page. Uh, you can use the manual for this particular tool to learn how to use it. So I'm just going to be covering just enough to make you efficient with the tool and make you understand how it works and how you can use it in conjunction with grep. All right. So uh, let's actually get started with a very simple example. Right. So let's say I wanted to locate a file on the system. Right. And uh, I wanted to locate a the password file. So I can say locate password and I hit enter and you can see it's given me a lot of a lot of information here. A lot of files called password on my system. Right now, this is really not efficient because, um, again, I'm looking for a particular file that I'm looking for, which is built, which actually exists in the Etsy file. And we can see the result. Well, that, that's not actually the result here. This is the result right at the top here. All right. However, this really is not efficient or an efficient way of going about it. Right. So uh, this is where we can now specify uh, the options that we can use. Uh, that we can use with uh, with a tool like locate. So let's say we wanted to get only the files that match this particular pattern or these particular uh, strings here. So the password string. So to do this, we type a or we use the uh, we can use the all parameter or option here. And once we hit enter again, that gives us the same information. So what does that means is it's actually displaying all the files on the system uh, that actually match the patterns of password here. Uh, and because this file really doesn't have any extension, we now have to deal with the actual path or the path that, that we, we might want to be uh, finding this file in. Now, of course, that is counterintuitive given that um, I can say that this belongs in the Etsy uh, in the Etsy directory. And again, that now uh, it, it now actually narrows down uh, the files into what they may be. So again, that's the, the actual file where we were looking for. But now you can see how tedious this is. So we can actually shorten this now by actually uh, using the grep tool, which I actually showed you how to use. And it's very, very simple. So again, we're simply going to use grep to look for particular information related to the uh, to, to, to the information that is, is given to us by locate. So we can now say locate and then we say uh, we are looking for password and um, we close that and now we say we pipe the output and we say grep uh, let's look for password uh, within etsy uh, within the etsy directory so again uh, we can now say uh, etsy here sorry etsy and um, we say password or we can just say the etsy directory here and then we can hit close and you can see it gives us the results we're looking for it highlights them in red or depending on the color scheme you're using in your terminal so again we can improve the efficiency of this by typing in etsy password and we hit enter so this is a file without a particular extension which makes it relatively difficult to actually find but you can find it relatively easily if you use grep here um, so, so let's actually talk about um, about another file that has an extension that we can use to explain this here. All right. So, um, let's say we are working with the uh, the uh, the the resolve file or the resolve configuration file, which is used for to modify your name servers, which is available on all Linux systems. What we can say is we can say locate um, resolve and uh, sorry resolve and we hit enter. And again, tons of files, but now we know that this file has an extension. So we can say uh, locate at, uh, we can say locate resolve dot uh, conf and we hit enter. And again, it still gives us a lot of files, but we're looking for the one that belongs in the that exists in the Etsy folder. Again, so what we can do now is we can say locate and uh, we want to actually uh, we're looking for we can use the all uh, the all parameter here. And then we say we're looking for uh, all files with an extension. Or we're looking for a file with, the, with an extension of uh, conf or config here. So we'll use the wildcard option to mean that this we are looking for for all files with this particular extension. So we say 
um, all and then we say conf and we close those um, these quotation marks and now we pipe the output into grep here and now with grep we can then say we are looking for resolve here and we hit, uh, sorry that is we're looking for resolve and we hit enter and now it gives us the information we're looking for and uh, the first option here so again that's with the the, the actual extension of conf here so again we're limiting the results to uh, only the files that have an extension of conf here or configuration and then we can use grep to find uh, the particular string that is most important to us so let, let me give you another example because this seems very simple um, so let's say we're looking for the proxy chains file, right? Uh, so we can say proxy chains and hit enter. And there you are. You can see immediately now because the, that is a unique string, it gives us the results immediately with the uh, with, with the, uh, the extension here. And that's because we specified it. So again, we can just say locate, uh, you know, proxy chains uh, and we hit enter. And there's a ton of files. Now, another thing you might find useful is uh, actually uh, displaying uh, how many results uh, matching the particular pattern you've specified exist. So let's say I want to say locate. I can say all. That means all the uh, the, the matching uh, the matching patterns here. Uh, so we say all, and then we can use the C uh, the the C argument here, which specifies or prints the number of matching results. And then we say uh, we specify the string we're looking for, or we can just say we're looking for proxy chains, and we enter, and it tells us here that we have 25 uh, files. Uh, or results that actually have the matching patterns here. Now, if we limit it to conf and we hit enter, now you can see we only have two. So that's essentially how to use this tool uh, in regards to you know displaying the amount of matching uh, patterns you have and if you want it to locate. Uh, so if we get rid of this here and let's hit enter, you can now see the results that it tells us here. So we have the one in the Etsy folder and one in the uh, the Debian package management uh, the Debian package management folder. Uh, in regards to its actual configuration there. So that's how to use the locate tool. Now, again, let me just cover one more additional parameter you can use, and that is the uh, the I parameter, which again is very important. And that means that you want to ignore case. Uh, that's something I should have mentioned earlier. Uh, all searches with locate are typically going to be case sensitive. So again, I can say proxy chains and I hit enter and we have no results, right? So if I wanted to ignore the case sensitivity of what I've just hit, uh, of, of the, the pattern I've just entered, I can just hit I and I hit enter. And again, we get the same results and I can now limit this to proxychains.conf and there you are. And again, I can, I can partner these or I can actually uh, combine these commands with each other to give us the information we're looking for. So again, a very, very uh, simple tool to use, but again, it gives you very consistent results. So that's pretty much for uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video.